Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to dive into one of the hottest projects in all of cryptocurrency, Solana. We're going to look at exactly what the Solana blockchain is, why is it pumping so hard despite a market pullback, and what can we expect for the future of the Sol token. Personally, here at this channel, we are super bullish on Sol, and we're going to get to exactly why right now. This is AI on Crypto. We cover cryptocurrency prices and trends, the altcoin gems, and all the things on the blockchain that's going to fill your bags to the max, and we're going to keep you far away from Rex City as well. On this channel, we cover blockchain gaming, NFT collectibles, DeFi, and mass adoption, delivering five to six videos a week of the up-to-the-minute crypto content to keep you at the top of your game. If you don't want to miss out, then make sure you're one of the first people to know what we cover on this channel by subscribing and tapping that bell for notifications. And as always, if you like the content, tap that like button to help us with the algorithm. Now let's take a deep dive into Solana. All right, guys, we're going to take a look at the price of Solana today. We're going to look at what it does as a layer one blockchain, why it's pumping in the midst of a downturn. And at the end of the video, we're going to talk about one of the biggest NFT based video games in all of blockchain coming to Solana. And we're going to take a look at it at the end. So make sure you watch the whole video. OK, here on CoinGecko, we're taking a look at Solana coin symbol SOL, the Sol coin. And it is sitting at a healthy $45.50 today. And if you take a look at the 90-day chart, whoa, talk about a thing of beauty. On January 27th, you could have got the Sol token for $3.76. And it's just been on a nice march up to $45 where it is today. And that puts it at about a 15x, which is incredible. And as you can see, when you look at the recent action from the last week, it has not been in decline like all of the other cryptocurrencies. Now, why is that? Here we can see an article from Forecast that looks into it. So the Solana prices surge amid crypto crash as market seeks lower gas fees. Solana has rallied to a new all-time high of $48.43 in the face of the second major correction to hit the crypto markets this month. Sol is ranked 13th with a market cap of 12.6 of $12 and is up by over 67% from its price of $28.93 last week. The new all-time high of Solana has come following a volatile 14 days of the crypto market during which Bitcoin hit all-time high but also crashed as much as 20% before briefly holding around the 55,000 level only to plummet below 50,000 resistance again Thursday. So Solana is an Ethereum alternative for DeFi. The Solana protocol and Sol token were released to the public in March of 2020. The project has quickly picked up speed with ROI of 21,000% on the crypto's price since inception. Solana's price has gained over 3,000% since the beginning of the year when one Sol coin was worth just $1.60. But unlike the similar 5,000% gain seen in meme cryptocurrency Dogecoin, there appears to be a lot more happening in terms of Solana's development and utility. Solana is fast making a name for itself in the cryptocurrency space because the incredibly short processing times for the blockchain offers. Solana is fast making a name for itself in the cryptocurrency space because of the incredibly short processing times the blockchain offers. Solana is designed to facilitate decentralized app creation and support decentralized finance. It also aims to improve scalability by introducing a proof of history consensus combined with the underlying proof of stake consensus of the blockchain. With DeFi booming over the last year, and the non-fungible token craze taking off, Solana is being recognized as a potential Ethereum alternative capable of faster transactions and higher scalability. Because the Ethereum blockchain hosts the majority of the DeFi space and NFT creation, the network has become increasingly congested leading to an increase in transactional costs or gas fees. Solana's hybrid protocol allows for significantly decreased validation times for both transaction 
and smart contract execution, according to the company's website. So guys, as you, as you can see, part of the reason for Solana's increase is because of that network congestion of Ethereum, the fact that all the smart contracts and NFTs and DeFi is taking place on the Ethereum network causing insane gas fees, while Solana is offering smart contract alternatives very fast with proof of history consensus, and it's becoming a smart contract alternative to Ethereum. How does it do this? Well, when you go to the Solana site, you can see proof of history. It's a clock before consensus. It also has a proof of history optimized version of PBFT. Turbine is a block propagation protocol. Gulfstream meme pool less transaction forwarding protocol. It has Cloudbreak, which is horizontally scaled accounts database. Uh, Pipeline, which is its transaction processing unit for validation. And Sea level which is the world's first parallel smart contract runtime so as you can see guys solana is doing a lot of cool stuff there's a reason this token has jumped up to number 12 in market cap and with its incredible technology and strong team behind it i think it's really just getting going and now let's take a look at something truly incredible you know on this channel we cover blockchain gaming we think blockchain gaming is going to change the world it's offering players of the game to actually earn money for their time so they're not just wasting their efforts to the point where it could actually provide average income from gameplay blockchain it's a it's a it's a revolution truly and it's going to create parallel economies even parallel societies running with our real world as people live out the lives they want on the metaverse so let's take a look at this awesome blockchain game star atlas okay guys here at staratlas.com you're looking at the home page for the biggest scaled mmo space exploration game out there right now still in development it's going to be a while before the full version of this game is unleashed and they are choosing solana as the blockchain they are building upon and guys this game is ambitious. They have over 40 people currently working on it. They are creating a true interstellar ecosystem where you are going to have incredible ships, crews, partnerships, whole fleets. You're going to go out there and explore space, finding planets and outposts to mine and earn value through mining the valuable resources of the game. There's also going to be a player versus player aspect that makes this incredibly dangerous. And there are there are safe zones from what I hear, kind of medium risk zones where you can go out into space, space. You might encounter an opponent. If you get destroyed, you're going to get your ship back. Your ship is an NFT and they can be very expensive, right? But in that medium risk area, you're not going to have the biggest opportunity for in-game rewards, which of course are going to have real monetary value. So to get the best rewards, you're going to have to go out into deep space. And guys, this is where it gets to be incredibly high stakes. So imagine you just spent some time building your spacecraft. You put some serious Solana coin into it, or actually this game has its own in-game currency called Atlases. Now, when you go into this high risk zone, here's the thing. If you get destroyed by an enemy, your ship is done. You have to start over from scratch. That NFT is Sayonara, adios. And that is what I mean by high stakes. And while that might scare the pants off you, for a lot of hardcore gamers, that's gonna be, that's really gonna give this game an edge. And guys, they just started selling their first NFT in the form of these posters, okay? And you can go on their website and you can look at the first poster's Discovery of Iris. And I gotta tell y'all, you need to check this out. This is an augmented reality NFT and it is freaking awesome. So go here, Discovery of Iris, then you're gonna click on the image and then you're going to select View Experience. So pull out your iPhone or tablet, put it on the camera settings, scan the QR code, then through Instagram or Facebook, you're going to access the image enhancer and you can actually view this NFT with your phone. 
And when you get that phone out, after scanning that QR code and you use your phone to watch the image that we're looking at now on my screen, it is completely different. You will see these asteroids floating right in front of your face. It truly comes alive to life when you scan that QR code and you see the augmented reality feature of this NFT. And it makes me so incredibly excited to think about putting on an AR VR headset and getting immersed in this game, perhaps with some friends, my crewmates. We explore the deep space, the high risk zone. We go out as a fleet. And of course, this game is going to be so intricately detailed. You're going to have to make sure you have enough fuel. There's going to be alliances, politics, governance. There's going to be, you can buy a planet or an outpost. Create an NFT showcase. It's going to be a parallel society. All right, guys. Are you hype? Are you hyped up for Star Atlas? Are you hyped up for Solana? Are you realizing that there's so much there's so much amazing to come in this blockchain space? It's almost ridiculous to worry about a bear market coming when so much is yet to launch. Star Atlas is two, two years down the line. All these great, great games are in development. They're all coming out. You know, Polkadot Parachains are about to kick off. Gogan Smart Contracts on Cardano. The Flare Network is around the corner. You got up-and-comers in Asia like the Conflux Network. Wow, what a time to be alive. All right, guys, it's been real, but you know the deal. Tap that like, hit subscribe, and we'll catch you all on the next video.